Your voice agent just booked another appointment for your client. But here's the problem nobody talked about. Will they actually show up? This isn't another complex automation. It's the five minute Kala.com setup that allows you to create appointment follow-up to make sure that you are delivering value to your appointment booking client. Today, I'll walk you through exactly how to set up Kala.com's SMS follow-up system. This will integrate into your voice AI system seamlessly and your clients will see higher ROI because of higher show rates. I'm Alejo from Amplify Voice and what you're about to see is the difference between building well and being a good builder. The nuance lies in that building well means you build where your client wants, but being a good builder is you can identify what your client needs and build that. For appointment setter agents, what the client needs is ROI, is people showing up to the appointments. So SMS follow-ups is the natural extension that is very easy to set up. Let me show you how. We've had a client ask, why didn't they show up if your voice agent booked an appointment with them? Well, what we failed to realize before is that the appointment booking process doesn't end at when your voice agent says, you're all set. The real value comes from them showing up. So it's a process, not just a step. It's not just the conversation. It's making sure that they show up to that appointment. It's very, very easy to set up. Let me show you. We're gonna go to uh, workflows in your Kala.com account. We're gonna go to new. Uh, we're gonna create it in my account. Uh, we're gonna go SMS uh, follow up uh, sequence. And what we can do is we're gonna apply to all events. This is gonna be the first part of the sequence. So this is gonna be a reminder SMS 24 hours before the appointment. So we would have, when does this event trigger? Before event starts, when uh, a booking is, is requested, rescheduled, uh, payment is successful. You essentially can create a workflow within Kala.com, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, but 24 hours before, we're gonna send an SMS to attendee. We're gonna look at what credits means here in a second, but it's essentially a cent, one cent per SMS. And then the action that we're gonna do is send SMS to attendee. This requires a credit, which we're gonna go over in a second. Um, the sender ID doesn't really matter right now. This might change in the future. I'll keep you guys updated. So subscribe and like to stay updated. We might be able to merge our own Tulio phone numbers in the future, but that's unclear, but very exciting. Then we have the template, the, re the message template. What are we trying to send? We can have a custom uh, uh, message. You can have whatever you want. You'll notice that you can use variables and you can see all the variables uh, right on the on on this little add variable button and you'll see everything that you're able to add you can essentially tweak any um, SMS that you're sending you even get reschedule URL cancel URL so you can be sending SMSs with like hey can you make it if you can't please reschedule here what's the objective reducing no shows and maximizing the amount of people that actually meet with your client which is ROI for them that's what creates value. So let's just stick with a reminder template. Uh, I'm gonna save this, this is 24 hours before. I was just testing this and uh, I got one of those messages and, and this is essentially what it looks like. Hey, Mame, you can tweak this. You can tweak all of these variables. This is a reminder that you're meeting between this and this. Uh, with Alejo Bihuan is on uh, September 12th, 5.15 p.m. American New York. So you can tweak all of this, it's beautiful. This is what it comes like. Uh, it comes from a random phone number. You'll get layers to this. Uh, at the end of the day, if you want to create your own follow-up system, go ahead and do it. Uh, you got uh, uh, N8N. I've done SMS videos before. I'll leave one linked above, which is the how to create an SMS uh, system that can receive replies as well and route them as a notification to your Slack, for example. So this is kind of the toned down version but very easy to plug in. That's the whole point. In five minutes, you can get a, a follow-up system. This is just 24 hours. You can do one hour as well. You can do 15 minutes. You can do emails. You can also do uh, SMSs. You can even do WhatsApp. So this is really powerful because in a very little effort, you get to augment your voice agent system. Now we're gonna save and I wanna teach you about credits. So if you go to settings and then billing, you're gonna find this credits area that is new. So for credits, each credit is worth one cent and it takes about two credits for one SMS, a little less. Uh, they essentially charge one cent for two Leo and then, then they add an 80% markup. So one SMS is about two cents. And to buy them, you just choose how many and you click buy. And you can buy any amount, there's no minimum, which is uh, nice. 
So now that we have the SMS follow-up sequence one, we can create a new follow-up sequence, uh, which might be number two, uh, uh, and we would go from there, say one hour before. You can also send email reminders. SMSs tend to be uh, have a much higher open rate than SMS reminders. The emails essentially come through as any other reminder email that gets completely ignored. So you can definitely edit the subject line to be a little more memorable, like putting your name at the front, for example. But I generally recommend SMS. There is no harm in mixing it up and doing email and then SMS or vice versa. Giving the lead a reminder call with a voice agent is also really encouraged. I did make a video on how to do that. It's part seven of our full N8N series that we did. So go check it out and go check out the playlist. It's very, very good, especially for non-programmers because he has a really nice ramp up. But if you're, you know, you're familiar with N8N and you want to go straight to part seven to see how I set up a batch calling for reminder calls, you have that video right there. I hope you now see how Call.com's SMS system in five minutes that it takes to set up turns your voice agent that books appointments into an appointment management system. So for your agency, they can position you as a complete solution provider, not just a voice AI agency. Try this setup with your next client or prospect and watch how it changes their perspective on what voice AI can do for their business. I read every single one of your comments, so thank you all for engaging and sharing all your questions. I'd love to hear about your biggest challenges with no-shows, because that's something we've definitely suffered in the past. It's much better now, but I'm glad there are now solutions out there that make it as easy as, you know, five minutes to plug and play a full follow-up system. So we are now integrating these with our clients, and I'd love to hear if this is kind of enough for you to set up a follow-up system, or if you're looking for more sophistication. I'd love to read the comments below, so maybe I can make a future video about that as well. And real quick, my team and I noticed that most of y'all uh, that watch regularly aren't subscribed. It does help us a lot when you like and subscribe because it helps expand to other people. So if you gained any value from what I've shared, uh, please hit like and subscribe. It really does help us a lot. Thank you all so much. And remember to never stop prompting.